This is a story about Paul, Cameron, and Sarah. Paul and Sarah were brother and sister. Cameron was Paul's best friend. They knew someone in this land, but they got lost. They could not figure out where they were. But they called this land the East Land. That's just what they call it. These are their stories. Okay, Paul was basically at the fruit path. He knew the fruit were edible. He knew that. So his job was to collect the fruit from the fruit path and put it in a stack and take it back to the cave. And that's what he was going to do. Okay, Paul basically took the fruit, or he got from the fruit path, and put it in the cave behind, and they put it in a dark corner of the cave, and that's what they had to do. Cameron basically said to Paul, Paul, we can't just eat fruit. Paul said, this is the best I could find. I can't find anything else. There's not a lot of food around here. Cameron said, Yeah, I think about trapping animals. Maybe we can have meat for dinner or, or for lunch. Paul said, We could try that. Cameron said, Okay, we'll do this, right? Paul, we'll go for a walk and see what we can find just to that uh, trap. Paul said, Okay. Paul said, we have to be a ORC, there was no animal high acid. Cameron said, I want meat. I want meat. Now, Paul said, what do you want me to do about it? I have not seen any animals around here. Karen said, Paul, why don't we just dig a hole, set a trap, and see what will happen? And go back. Paul said, okay, we'll do that. We'll dig a hole, we'll set trap on the ground, and see what we'll catch, and we'll do that. Karen said, good. Okay, daytime turned to nineteen, and it was nighttime. So what they say to do was get a campfire going, and that's what they were going to do. That's what they did. They got a campfire going, and they sat around. They didn't have any meat, so they were going to cook on the bar on the fire. But they did have fruit, so they ate the fruit, and the fruit was quite filling. But Cameron really had a craving for meat, but there was no meat. But she was okay with it. She knew that if the trap were tomorrow, there'd probably be meat tomorrow, what she thought.
Okay, it was basically the next day and Paul was up. So that was what Paul was going to do. He was going to tra check the traps. And what he found out when he checked them, they had animals, but they were captured. So what Paul did was tie a rope behind, around them behind, and drag them all behind to the cave behind, and they basically kept them in the cave. Paul basically said, Karen, now are you happy that you have meat? Karen suggests I am happy that we have meat now. We have meat. She is very happy. Okay, Paul would be here at the back of the cave. He was at the back of the cave, and that's where he was. Okay, Paul basically knew that there was going to be a lot of danger and a lot of better ahead of the hill in this land. But if we stick together, we'll make it through. And we'll make it through indeed. Today was a slow day and yesterday was a slow day. But there's not going to be slow like days like this in the future. He knew this. Oh yeah, this is basically where this movie ends for now.